Hi, Peter Nixon from Potential Dialogue. We help you improve your dialogue and negotiation to improve your bottom line by reducing conflict and improving positive change. Hi, Peter Nixon from Potential Dialogue Institute in Hong Kong, reminding you that uh, there's a lot of different dialogue behaviors that count. We have five categories, presence, respect, expression, suspending, and absorbing. And these uh, quick dialogue minutes go through all 50 of the behaviors in those five categories. Today, we're looking at the two of diamonds. Let me pull that one out of the pack. As I flip through the pack, if you want to get yourself a pack, just write to me. These are uh, popular and have uh, spread around the world. They're also covered in my book, Dialogue Gap, which you can see on the shelf behind me. If you're interested, go to Amazon and find a copy. So the two of diamonds, what does it say? It says to be diplomatic and don't criticize or use judgmental labels. Oh, interesting. Well, the 2020s are a tough uh, decade, full of extreme views with uh, extremist opinions from all levels of society, right to the top. And uh, unfortunately, the we get a sense that the era of diplomacy is, is behind us, but I wanna bring that back. Because when we're being diplomatic and we're not using judgmental labels, it tends to uh, invite people to open up and talk. When you are judgmental and not diplomatic, it shuts down the dialogue. And, and this, this, di this decade, we need, we need dialogue, as you know. So what's preventing us from doing it? Well, I think diplomacy's had a little bit of a a backseat to being frank and being straight talking, saying it like it is and uh, you know other justifications for not being diplomatic and using harsh language seems to be popular these days, but it's not helpful. So leave that to the extremists. What we want you to do is as a dialogue leader, be more diplomatic and don't judge people, don't give them labels to simply ask questions. And uh, yes, some cultures are more diplomatic than others, but that doesn't matter because you can become more diplomatic and open to those diverse differences. So I encourage you to give it a go. It's important, it's useful, and uh, it'll certainly be on your uh, resume as a leader when you retire, if you do this well.